While most people go to school to build their future and become successful, some students ruin their lives before they can even graduate. Here are four times when students realize they destroyed their life, starting with when a college student was going 141 miles per hour, and it was later discovered that some illegal stuff was in his car too. In 2023, a traffic stop was conducted on Tony Mitchell, who was a University of Alabama freshman football player. Florida officers state that Tony was trying to evade them, leading them on a 141 miles mile per hour car chase, and once cops eventually did stop him, Tony pretended that the chase never even happened. How'd y'all get in the Bonifay? Eh? Yeah. You don't know where you're at? <coughs> nah, I'm, okay. I'm down here on vacation, so like, I'm I got you. Headed to Panama? You headed to Panama City Beach? No, sir. You ain't? Okay. All right, man. Well, listen. The speed limit is 35. Where you were just at, I paced you at 45. You got your driver's license? I don't plan on writing you a ticket or anything. I'm sorry, sir. I ain't Okay. 16-12. You didn't just run from me? On Highway 79? Okay. I don't even know where it's going. Like I said, I'm over here. I got you, man. All right. You have the registration proof in here? Yeah, it's Just everything? Okay. Do you have a key fob to the car? Do you have a key fob to the car? Yeah. The keys to the car, yeah. Yeah, just do me a favor. If you don't mind, just put them on top of your roof so the ignition can't feel it. And just set them on top of your roof. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. So the ignition won't pick up on it. Do you have a medical marijuana card? Do you have a medical marijuana card? Because I smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. Okay. So, do you have marijuana? Because I smell it. Are you having a hard time understanding what I'm saying? Why does no, I didn't know why you was asking me did I have a card. Yeah, because in Florida they do medical marijuana cards, but in Alabama they don't. It's just something I have to ask. Because I smell marijuana coming from the vehicle. Alright. So, here's the deal. As long as you're honest with me, I'm going to work with you. Okay. But if you're gonna lie to me, I have the right to do a probable cause search right now. Okay. And I do believe you are the vehicle that just ran from us. All right. I, I didn't. I didn't. All right, well, I'm gonna take your, your fob right here and set it toward the trunk. You can see that Tony is very hesitant to the cop's questions. The officer asks him one more time if he has weed in his car, and he decides to finally tell the truth. All right, man. So where's the weed at? Now's a chance to be honest with me, Porter. Okay. I didn't run from the service. Are you sure about that? Because there, there was two of us there when you passed that church. All right. Just do me a favor. Step out. Yeah, step out for me. All right. Just do me a favor. Come back here. You ain't got nothing else illegal in the car. That's everything. Is that everything? Okay, all right. Step back here to the front of my car. All right, you ain't got nothing on you? Okay. All right, just put your hands right here for me. I just want to make sure. Okay. That's just All right, just All right, man. Well, just do me a favor. Right now, you're not under arrest. You are going to be detained. Put your hands behind your back for me. Sorry. Not, not back for me. The officer then places Tony and everyone else in their car in cuffs. The cops asks them again if there are any other illegal stuff in the car after finding some more weed there, and that's when the suspects finally told the cops everything that they were trying to hide from them. Okay, that's more weed. How much weed y'all got? How much more weed y'all got? Am I gonna find anything else? Uh, yeah, but Okay. How much weed is that? 100 grams. 100 grams? Yes. Okay. Do you have any firearms? Yes, sir. Where? It's on the side. Uh, it's on the side. Do you have a concealed weapons permit? I uh, did not mind. Do you have a concealed weapons permit, partner? Yes, sir. Do you have a concealed weapons permit? Yes, sir. Where is it? In your wallet? Well, Where's the firearm? It's on, it's on this side. The driver's side? side. Your side? Well, you got a permit for that. You just go. Yeah. 
says on the passenger. That's not your gun? The gun that's in the car is not yours? You got a gun in the car? What's your gun look like? What kind of gun? What caliber? That ain't just a gun. Nah. Hey, Raymond, can you do me a favor, sir? Just do me a favor, stand with your partner right there. I know you want to do me. Oh, what's that? Yeah. We got a 100 gram scale of fire. It turns out that there's over 100 grams of weed and a gun inside the car. Once cops told Tony what they found in the car, you can see the moment when he realized that he's going to lose everything because of this. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm normally a pretty decent judge of character. This isn't you, right? Yes, sir. Nothing better than this I really can't even talk right now because, like, you don't have to talk, man. I heard you tell your buddy earlier that you can't call your daddy. All right, listen, I, I'm a daddy too. I'm going to tell you you can call him. He might be mad at you, but you I can call him. I sir. Like, none of that is fun. I'm, I'm an early, early freshman. I play football in Alabama. And, like, I know, like. Play football for I, the University of Alabama. Yes, sir. I know what I got at risk, sir. Like, I didn't have none of that stuff on me, sir. <laughs> you that other boy's actually going to step up and say what's his? Is, I, I was yeah, I know that's his gun too. I can tell because you didn't know what it was. The look on his face when you said gun told me you didn't know there was a gun in that car. I'm so sorry. It's all right, man. It's all right, man. Listen, listen. Mitchell and a passenger were both charged with possession of marijuana with the intent to sell or deliver. Mitchell was sentenced to three years of probation with a fine and community service, and he did get suspended off the football team. But if you thought that was bad, then you haven't seen the time when Illinois student ended the lives of two people in a deadly DUI crash. In 2022, officers rushed to a scene of a car crash. Once they arrived, one of the officers were immediately confronted with Stephanie Melgoza, the driver who caused the car crash. When the cops asked her what happened, she then explains the situation from her point of view. Um, if you had asked me how fast were you going when you hit the person? I would say I was going at least, at least 40. At okay. least 40. You think maybe? maybe 40 to 45, but at least 40. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you were going too fast for this area at the time with the darkness? I honestly don't think I was going too fast because I try to be precautionary about where I'm at. Okay. Um, but I just know that someone, one person, came out of nowhere. Did you have your headlights on? Yes, sir. Brights on or just regular headlights? Regular. Okay. Okay. So obviously you saw them. It was no time to react, no time to stop? No time. Okay. That's the word. Okay. All right. Where were you coming from tonight? I was coming from Tavern uh, 41 on Sterling Avenue. Tavern 31 on Sterling? 41. Tavern 41 on Sterling and yes, Peoria? Sir. Okay. And you left the Tavern 41 and drove straight here? Yes, sir. Okay. Over the course of the night, how much have you had to drink? I probably had about three drinks. What's, what's, what is three drinks? Do you like? Are we talking? What type of drinks? Just vodka. Vodka? Straight vodka or mixed drinks? Uh, vodka and water, so I was staying hydrated, you know, and okay. drinking. Mm -hmm. On it, like uh, right now, if you had me do a test, I think I would pass. Just like, not, don't test me, but I think I would pass. Okay, I'm going to be honest. We're, we are going to do those tests here in a little bit mm -hmm. because the circumstances, obviously, we have mm -hmm. to, okay? Uh, how long ago was your last drink, would you say? Uh, my last drink, I would say about 40 minutes. 40 minutes mm -hmm. ago? Did, were you drink anything while you are in the vehicle? No. Or was the last drink at the bar? At the bar. Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the least drunk you've ever been, 10 being the most drunk you've ever been, where would you say you put yourself at right now? Five. Five. Because I've been very drunk. And right now, like, I see you. I see everyone. Mm -hmm. I know the situation. You know what I mean? Like, I know I'm aware of okay. everything. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to close the door. Uh, if mm -hmm. it stops raining, we might do some tests mm -hmm. in the roadway. Otherwise, we might go back to the police station and do it. We'll figure out okay. how we're going to do it. Okay? All right. Is there... Yeah, we got your purse, your uh, phone already, and that's, that's all we need out of your car, right? Okay, hang tight. 
The cops make Stephanie do a field sobriety test, which she ultimately fails. Then they arrest her and bring her to the hospital to make sure she didn't sustain any injuries. When they arrive, that's when the officer lets Stephanie know that she struck two people and now they are deceased, and she immediately was in denial. Okay, so just so we're clear, I'm gonna undo your seatbelt, okay? There we go. Okay, so you understand what we're gonna do? First off, I'm gonna let you know the two people. You did hit two people total. I did not. You did. I didn't. Okay. I'm just, okay. Mm -hmm. However you want to word it to yourself, that's fine. Okay. I'm just telling you, there's two people struck by your vehicle and both, both are dead. I did not hit two okay. people. Okay. Right okay. Well, I'm just telling you the two people that hit Why your car. Ma'am, listen, listen. If I... Two people struck your vehicle, so I'm telling you, and they're both deceased on scene. I'm just telling you that information, okay? We're going to go in here. We're going to do the thing. I appreciate you being cooperative so far. I'm just tell I gotta tell you what's okay, going on. Okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. Come all right, come on out here this way. I'll let you talk to you. Alright. Alright, right over here. Oh hey, you never answered me about my car. Like, I school tomorrow, so how do I get my car here tomorrow? Well, your car is totaled. It's what? Your car is totaled. Total? Total, total wrecked. Okay, so how do I get it here tomorrow? You don't. So, what do you mean? I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you killed two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It killed two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for killing two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Okay, the Tuesday did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right. when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told that you killed two people tonight? Yeah, so I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay, we're done. You're all on body camera being completely careless about killing two people tonight. You could care less. That's sad and pathetic and horrible all at the same time. Can you say that as a cop? Yes, ma'am, I can. Stephanie pleaded guilty to two counts of aggravated DUI death and two counts of aggravated reckless driving before getting sentenced to 14 years in prison. While ending the lives of two people is horrible, you probably never seen the time when a 16-year-old boy was flexing on TikTok for bringing a loaded weapon to school. In 2022, a high school student in Florida was caught bringing a weapon to school. The police were notified once they saw he posted a TikTok video showing off the weapon. Afterwards, the officers went to the school to confront the student. Do you know what this kid looks like? Let's get his backpack too. Are you Come on. You know what I want to talk to you about? You don't know? Okay. All right, do me a favor, keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Okay, take your backpack off for me. All right, so... Somebody reported that they have a photo of you, and in the photo it looks like there's some sort of a weapon sticking out of a pocket, or... Take your hands out of your pockets, okay? Do me a favor, just lift your sweatshirt up, turn around for me, turn around again, lift your sweatshirt up again, what is that? Relax, okay? 
While the officer confronts the 16-year-old, he tells him to pull his hoodie, and that is when he spots the gun tucked inside his pants. Immediately after the cop spots it, the teen gets nervous and scared of what his consequences will be, but the officer goes ahead and arrests him. The 16-year-old, who stole the firearm from a relative, is being charged with possession of a firearm on school property, grand theft of a firearm, and carrying a concealed firearm. The relative is also pressing charges for theft. If you like true crime videos, then click on the video on screen to watch more.